Explorers. Have you ever wondered what happens to a lost package? You're in luck because I found a great story about it. The author's name is Richard Ho and the illustrator's name is Jessica Lana. I just want to point out to you that the setting of this story takes place in New York. The lost package. Like other packages, this one began as an empty box. It was packed with great care, sealed tight, and given a personal touch. At the post office, it was weighed, stamped, labeled, and loaded onto a truck. Like other packages, it was taken to a building with wondrous machines, machines that zip mail through a maze of moving belts. Machines that tumble and separate, scan and measure, sort and root. Like other packages, this one headed to the airport. Before it got there, it flew. Now it was lost. Like other lost packages, this one seemed hidden, invisible, and forgotten until it was found. The package was tattered and muddy, but its destination was clear. So if you look there, right, there's the Empire State Building, and then it shows that it should go to San Francisco because that's the Golden Gate Bridge. This boy looks like maybe he's moving, right? There's a moving van. Like all packages, this one was sent with hope that neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom of night would keep it from being delivered. They made it to San Francisco. Not all packages travel the same road. Some get lost and some get found, but most end up where they were meant to be. So my friends, it looks to me like the little girl sent a model of the Empire State Building to her friend who lives in San Francisco. And then it looks like he is probably writing a letter to send back to her. Look, there's maybe a picture of them on her bulletin board. Maybe our, she already sent him this poster of New York. The real treat is what's underneath the dust jacket. Are you ready? It's the lost package, which I think is super cool. Looks like it got really dirty though, didn't it? All right, my friends, until next time.